All right, welcome. This is going to be a video on how to uh, add and configure the blog post element. So once you make your section, row, and column, you can click on the plus button and add the blog post element right over here. So go ahead and click that. And once you do, it's going to bring in all of your recent blog posts that you've published. So on the side here, there's um, some styles you can different uh, some different styles you can choose from. It'll change the the layout of it. Um, the type right now it's a slider where you can make it a row uh, and the slider element once this uh, populates with three blog posts or more there's going to be um, left and right arrows on the sides to scroll through so you can choose how many columns are going to be in your slider of blog posts or you can do a row and you can choose how many columns are going to be in each row and you can add depth to each one shadow uh, that's the depth and that's the hover you can animate it add different animations and then here this is uh, you can actually select um, specific blog posts to display here if you didn't want it just to pull from the uh, most recent of your blog posts you can actually select multiple of these and only display those another thing is the category you can also select a category and only display blog posts from that category and then next you can change the total amount of blog posts that you want displayed on this slider or row whichever one you pick uh, right now it's set to 8 and it's going to show um, the latest the the most recent blog posts in descending order and um, so it's just whenever you add a new blog post it's just automatically going to add here uh, you can set a read more text so you can type read more and it's going to add the read more button and then you can change the styling of that button and there is another video on um, configuring the button element if you want to check that out um, some different meta information uh, the date the badge style you can change all of this you can change the image size the width um, and if there's an overlay a hover effect you can change the text if it's left aligned right aligned uh, you change the size, hover effect, the background color behind the text, and then the color text itself. Um, so there's just a bunch of options in here for the blog posts that you can go through and really dig through and find the best combination for what you're displaying and how you want to display these blog posts. Alright, so if you have any questions, go ahead and let me know. And thank you for watching.